When we got there, our job became the point. We were to be the point to, to split the island. And uh, the first obstacle was the airfield, because the airfield was protected by a great number of pillboxes. We call them bunkers today. There were pillboxes then, and they were reinforced concrete, and hitting them with a bazooka or a piece of artillery wouldn't do anything to them except maybe knock some holes in it maybe. But uh, we couldn't break through because they had all the advantage. We're in open territory, they're in an enclosed structure. So that's where the flamethrowers came into use. And we attempted several times during the day to break through this line of pillboxes and we had lost a tremendous number of Marines. Uh, my commanding officer was down to himself and two officers and, and most of our squad leaders were gone. So he called a meeting to gather in a big shell crater. And at that point in time, he asked me if I thought I might be able to do something. I was the only flamethrower guy left in my company. And could, could I do something about those pillboxes with a flamethrower? Because we had not attempted that at that point. So he gave me four Marines to uh, protect me as I would be working toward the pillbox. During the course of about four hours, uh, I was able to eliminate the enemy within seven of them and that opened a path so we could break through. And once we got behind them, then we had the advantage. They couldn't shoot at us from back of the pillbox. There's a lot about that day I don't remember. And uh, uh, lost two Marines, two of those individuals uh, of the four that I had, that he had assigned to me to protect me. Uh, they, they gave their lives that day. Most veterans that have been in combat, when they get home, it's what they don't want to think about. But I've always advocated and still do that the best thing they could do is get with other veterans of a similar experience and talk about it because you're finding out that you're not the only guy in this world that's had the same kind of experiences. So uh, I realized if we don't belong to these organizations, like the DAV, if they don't have membership, they're not going to be effective.